Hey everybody, this is Leon Lee Star, and in this video I'm going to show you how to efficiently use filters inside Sunfox. Uh, the cool thing about Sunfox uh, is not only that it's free, but it's also that all your uh, instruments and your effects, uh, which you can design by yourself by the way, uh, can be embedded into the song file. So in other words, your, your projects won't break in the future because all your effects and instruments are embedded in, in, in the song. And that song is not like 200 megabytes. No, it's just uh, max uh, 500 kilobytes. So really awesome. So now the filter part. Um, probably when you are creating a song then at some point you need to filter out some stuff you don't want your hi-hats to have low frequencies um, sometimes there is too much high frequency so you want to low pass that a bit and uh, one rule of thumb what many people don't know is that if you want to high pass things uh, just use the filter pro not the simple filter both are absolutely fine but when it comes to high pass just use the uh, the filter pro i will add it here so and just to give you a comparison i will create here a small generator so this is just uh let's let's just turn this into a square wave so I have my spectrum analyzer open here and just look at this shape, this shape of our square wave. So this looks totally fine. And at some point, like if you have this simple filter and you think like, oh yeah, I'm going to use this high pass filter, then um, let's say you want to filter out the sub bass frequencies, let's say 50 hertz. Whatever, this is a very common use case. No sub bass in a hi-hat, for example. Now, have a close look at the uh, curve uh, starting from um, the end till, let's say, 4K. If I bypass this filter, you can really see that now the curve is gone. So for some reason, the simple filter, the simple high-pass filter introduces this um, yeah, this roll off of your high frequencies. So you're, oh, I have a phone call. I will hit pause one second. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, then let's not release it. Okay. All right, Mr. President. Okay, later. That was the, the president. They, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a crazy story. Let me turn on the light, by the way. I wanted to release a, a song on Spotify, but it was uh, it was too funky. It was a, a weapon of mass funkiness, so they just asked to to drop it. And that's how it goes in the music industry. All right, so let's get back to the um, uh, this one. Yeah, so this simple filter, the high pass filter, it's eating up if we turn it on our high frequencies, and if we do the same. What was it? Six, 67. So if we do this high pass filter here at 67, um, then, oh, I think you can just double click it and then enter the number. Aha! 67, bam. So anyways, if I do it here, then you can see uh, it's just keeping all those frequencies. So this is the real deal. The, the Filter Pro High Pass, that's what you should use. I am curious now when I'm on this anyways. Um, I'm curious if I change the mode, if it will make the, the curve disappear. Okay, so this is a bit weird. If I set it to low quality, then we don't have the curve. So maybe this is a bug and maybe the high and low quality is reversed. I don't know. I will talk to Night, Night Radio about this. Interesting. Very interesting. So, okay, this is it. Um, hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next video. Cheers.